chance to explain. You got nothing to lose just by listening to him. Wait for me down here, please. Will you listen? Uh, Tony, please just wait for me down here. I won't be long. Anthony, I'm so happy to see that you've arrived back safely. My dear, where are the others? Oh, no, the one upstairs. Quinn stopped to get gas. Uh, well, they just came in now. Oh, thank God you're safe. I've been so worried about you. We're fine, Mrs. Renfield. Now, where's Nola? Uh, she's upstairs. I think I'll go up to my room. No, you're going into the library, and you're going to wait for me to come back. Oh, but Quentin, I'm exhausted. Mrs. Renfield, would you take Rebecca into the library and make sure she stays there? Listen. Listen, why don't you give her a couple minutes by herself, okay? You saw the look on her face when we left that house. I may not have a few minutes, Tony. You could only make things worse now. Just give her some time to think this thing through by herself. Well, I've given her enough time. I'm going upstairs. When? Please, let me try to explain. No. No, you explained everything right from the beginning. You told me right from the start that, that there are secrets in your past, things that you can't tell me about. And I said, fine. Fine, sure, I can handle all that. As long as I know that, that you're in my life, then I, I can handle anything. If we were together, then all these women start coming into your life. I'll be telling them what's first. She comes sweeping into here like, I mean, you know, like she owned the place. You know, fine, you let her stay here even though she tried to kill you once, that's fine. Sure, I can handle that, another secret, sure. And if, some, if I find out some woman's living on the third floor. <laughs> Silliest thing I ever heard of. You know, and then she's got some hold over you, some, some mysterious hold that you can't tell me about, another lie, another secret. Fine, sure, I can handle that. You say, give me some time, Nola. I give you time. Just give me some time till she gets well, so she can talk again. Don't come near me. I give you time. She gets better. She can talk. I don't know why. Just another lie, another commitment. I don't know anything about. But Nola, listen. But it was the work. The only thing that we ever shared together, the work. The only thing you didn't share with anybody else, and you cut me out of that, too. Another reason I know nothing about. No, please, be reasonable. You have cut me out of every part of your life. But you know the thing that I held on to? The thing that I always believed in is that you love me, and that I was the only woman in your life. I was so worried about you tonight. I thought you were dead or something. I had Tony drive me all the way up there. And what do I see when I go in there? I see Lee. I see you lying next to Rebecca. Look, I'm not stupid. I know what I saw. I want the car. The, the car, car didn't start. The car that started right up to Tony. Uh, no, I ready. swear I never lied to you. No, but listen, I want you here. I need you. No, you don't. You know, the biggest mistake that I ever made was to fall in love with you. So, when you decide who or what it is you want, give me a call. I may be interested.
cord. I thought I heard the door. She's gone, Mrs. Renfield. She's gone. Where are you going? To find Nola. But Rebecca is still waiting in the... The hell with Rebecca! I must talk to Nola! Have uh, Nola and Quentin made up after that quarrel they had at Stacy's birthday party? How would I know? She doesn't tell me anything. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, 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 oh. Honey, oh, I don't what's, the what's the matter? What's the matter, Nola? Ma, just let her go, okay? Where have you two been? We just we went for a ride, that's all. Yeah, I know. You went to look for Mr. McCord. Yeah, that's right. I've been very worried about you out in this terrible storm. Oh, I called... I, look, I'm sorry. I thought we would be back a lot sooner, but the road coming down from Quince was worse than I wait. thought. Yeah. What, what happened? Well, it's just really steep, and there's a lot of hairpin turns. It was freezing over with ice, so we had to Tell crawl me. all the way. But we're back in one piece, so you don't need to worry, right? Oh, did you find him? Yeah. Well, then what in the world is Nola so upset about? Long story, Ma. Oh, yes? Well, are you going to tell me? No. No. Well, if you won't tell me, I will ask Nola and Mom, she'll... I don't think she wants to talk to anyone right now. I am not anyone. I am her mother. Mom, she just needs to be alone. Tony, think I can do anything? No, thanks, Mr. Chamberlain, but I think there's only one person that could make a difference right now. Tony, Tony, where's Nola? 